Hey babies, welcome to my channel, Donna P. Howard. Previously, I have told you about these boils that I suffer from. And they are considered as Hydra Denetis Suprita. It's a bump that starts out hard and it fills up with pus and it hurts when it's hard. And then either it will bust on its own, or if you see like it's coming to a head, you can push it out. And you're pushing a whole bunch of pus and a whole bunch of blood out. And then it'll all come out of your skin, and it'll your skin will draw up, and it'll move somewhere else. I know I've told you about this many a times before. So when I discovered in 2010, I had told my primary about it. And of course, she sent me for a urine and blood work. And she gave me some cream. Well, that didn't do nothing for me because I don't know why. Prescription creams does nothing for me. It's a waste of time for any doctor to prescribe me a cream because it doesn't work for me at all. Anywho, she sent me to a specialist. And the specialist that she sent me to did a lot of blood work. Well, that specialist then is my primary doctor now. She's an internist plus a primary doctor. At the time, she told me to use down antibacterial soap because it was supposed to dry up these boils. Well, that worked for a while. But as I started suffering more from fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis, I noticed it's gotten worse and worse. So I'm assuming, I can't say for sure, I'm assuming that with the rheumatoid arthritis fighting against my body and attacking my body, which is the crippling disease, I'm assuming it triggered this Hydra Denetis Suprita. And most doctors don't know how to treat it. I'm going to tell you that now. So anyhow, I went to a dermatologist. And the dermatologist would take a needle and stick it in the boil and shoot the medicine in. And that, that is painful. But it's already painful. So when she does that, after a while, it goes away. The pain. Then she prescribed me some antibiotics and some cream again. Cream didn't work. The antibiotic worked the first time, but then she put me like on call. Anytime I call, I can get an emergency appointment and go out there and get a shot. I am not big on needles and I am not big on shots. So I was complaining to my primary doctor recently about it. So I told you my now primary doctor was my specialist some years ago. So she swabbed it. She swabbed the boil because it was like you could see some of the pus coming out and she sent it out to the lab. Well, when she did, she prescribed me clindamycin HCL 300 milligrams which is this. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm supposed to take four pills a day. This is what the antibiotic looks like. It's a like a marine blue pill. And I'm supposed to take four a day for seven days. And I did. When I first got prescribed this medicine, I did. But I did it my way, like I always do. I put all four pills in my hand and put the rest of my medications that I'm taking that day, and I take it all at once, once a day. And it works for me. Now, um, what I'm finding is, okay, the first time it worked for me and took away the pain, and okay. So the next time that it came back, I had to write out a script again, and um, I took it 
and it, you know, started relieving the pain and everything. So this third time when I brought it to her attention, she wrote out a script for 120 capsules. I take four a day for a week. And then when it comes back, I don't have to call her anymore. I got these on hand. And they work. They help allevi alleviate the pain. So between this prescription medication and the way I told you I used to take a bath for pain. Remember, bubble bath, baby oil, rubbing alcohol, and Epsom salt. I use Epsom salt mixed with bath salts because I like bath salts. I use a bunch of rubbing alcohol. Sometimes I'll put three quarters of a bottle of rubbing alcohol in my water, depending on how much pain I'm in. Regular pain from the body, the fibromyalgia, the rheumatoid arthritis, and everything else I suffer from, plus the pain of these boys. And I'll sit in the hottest water that I can imagine that's not burning me with these items mixed in. And boy, oh boy, when I get out, I am relieved of the pain and the soreness for a long while. So if you suffer from this, please realize that you can find a way to help you. And if you do what I said, I guarantee you, you'll have some relief. And that's what it's all about nowadays. Relieving these symptoms and these problems that make your health worse. So please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always know when I'm uploading. Share my video with your family and friends and leave me a comment. And if you've tried my way, or, or if you do try my way, come back and let me know how it's working for you. Because none of us want to be in pain. Until next time, I'll see you later.